Hi everybody, Privet and Profanity Alert. This video might contain bad language. This is the HP NV X360 from last year. It was AMD's first Ryzen mobile based laptop on the market. There was a lot of hype around it. I was hyped as well. And in the end, I have to say this product is the biggest disappointment in tech I had in a long time. And uh, when I say disappointment, I don't mean the shitty screen it has or the bad battery life or the loud fan. No, I never cared about those things when I've picked it up. What I've cared about is the SoC Ryzen, a fat GPU capable for gaming and some good sand cores. And the performance that would offer as a consequence of it. But even more, I cared about some software support or support in general for this project product. Um, you probably remember Lisa Sue posted a Twitter uh, post with a picture of her walking out of a Best Buy store with this laptop. So for them, yeah, in celebration of the whole Ryzen mobile launch, so for them it was a big deal. And yeah, it is. Uh, after eight years of shitty AMD chips in, a, in shitty laptops, there was AMD had a chance to turn things around. And when you see the CEO posting with a product, that means something. And you will never see her next week posting with a Radeon, uh, posing with a Radeon RX 590 somewhere. Never. So seeing that and this notebook being the only notebook for, I think, a few months on the market, depending on what country, that offered a Ryzen chip. So it was probably uh, the Ryzen mobile poster child. Seeing that, you would, uh, you would expect that AMD cares. Because that's the laptop that represented fucking Ryzen, right? <laughs> so you would, you would them to somehow react on problems, fix it with drivers, work with HP to offer BIOS updates, but nothing. So after a few, a few months only after launch, you didn't get any BIOS updates. So no hope for fixing the stupid 256 megabyte dedicated RAM limitation or VRAM limitation that fucks up all gaming experience or a lot of gaming experience like Fortnite or games that not start. And also no hope of a BIOS that would fix uh, the poor management issues and the throttling issues like Acer did, for example. Acer did a very good job, but that was months after the launch of this product. So all the fans, all the AMD fans, all the tech enthusiasts, they got screwed over buying this. Really screwed over. There are so no updates. And even worse, the fucking idiots of HP, they upload wrong BIOS files as new files and irritate the consumer even more. Then they have only one driver, graphics driver online. And that doesn't really work. Uh, games have color corruptions, some games don't work, there are YouTube video playback problems, and so on. So, now, H, I don't know, I don't care who to blame, but I'm, I know that AMD and HP collaborate on products like that very uh, heavily. So, if I'm AMD and I see <laughs> the only product that represents Ryzen on the shelves, causing problems and people complain don't you why don't you come on the idea to act talk with hp or talk with people or at least offer driver support for the gpu how is it that i can download from amd the newest graphics driver for my stupid fucking old Jaguar based APU in my old Toshiba satellite and now driver for Vega mobile. How is it? it? Makes no sense. How can you market gaming capabilities bigly and don't offer drivers? How is it? Yeah, 
Uh, I could rant forever. I, what I wonder is, what do you think about this topic? Do you have this laptop? And I know you, you, there are workarounds. can force installing drivers, but that causes problems and blue screens. And sometimes you cannot change resolutions in games and so on. Yeah, but... And that's not a good situation for the consumer. I mean, I see the fucking Vega sticker on it. I expect something from it. I expect drivers. I expect some power behind it and also drivers. So, and I wonder what you expect. But please write in the comment. If you have this laptop, what do you do with it? And uh, in conclusion, I have to say, I really can't uh, recommend Ryzen Mobile. I've recommended this laptop before even having big experience with it to my friends just because of the pure specs and uh, they are not happy. <laughs> so if it weren't for Acer, I think I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what AMD is thinking, really. That's that's pretty sad way how to do a comeback. Yeah. And uh, to screw over, especially with this laptop, to screw over fans and uh, people that wanted to give AMD a shot again in terms of laptops. And uh, yeah, even worse in terms of drivers, Intel, and you wouldn't expect it from them. And it's mostly not necessary, but they update their drivers every almost twice a month. And they add a lot of fixes and... Um, it's just good to know if you are, for example, a company and you hand laptops to your staff and you know that if there's a problem, Intel has some drivers that you roll back to or move forward to. AMD doesn't. AMD doesn't. I don't know what they're thinking. So, yeah. Rain Rich, good product, but without software support, not really. See ya.